two hours away. Uh, I'm excited to see her face. She literally has no clue that it's today. So I'm just not going to respond to my phone. Uh, once she shows up, I mean, she'll, she'll know what's going down. She'll, uh, we, we have a, a team of people on it to distract her. Yeah, her friend is taking her on a little scavenger hunt that I've set up, or am actively setting up. The first clue in six minutes, which means that we need to start setting up the clues elsewhere. So essentially, to keep Kendall from knowing anything about what's going on today, she thinks that a proposal isn't coming for a long time. But I had her friend ask her to hang out today, which she has no clue because Kendall's the one that suggested the time and date. So, they're hanging out today, and I have a set of clues that include a picture of iconic moments in our relationship with a riddle on the back that leads you to the next clue. Her friend has the first clue in hand, and when they start to hang out, we'll hand her the first clue, which will lead her to clue number two, which we're about to go place. It's go time. So, Kendall has the first clue in hand. She began to cry. I assume tears of joy, let's hope. But, they're on their way to the next place. So, we have to put the next clue down before they get there. Luckily, there's a basketball game going on today, a scrimmage. So there's a lot of traffic in Auburn. So we have a little bit of buffer in between them getting to the next place and us placing it. So let's hope we get there before them. Like they're, they're probably passing the Circle K right now. All right. It's 4.33. They're gonna get here before they close. So I'm gonna hand it to the cashier. The next clue, well, we already placed clue three, which is the one after that one. It's on the front door of the big house. Clue number four is at the dairy barn. We spent a lot of time in our Bible study group from church praying there. Clue four is at uh, this brick building that used to be a dairy barn. So sp having spent a lot of time in prayer there, I just wanted to send her there to set a preface and symbolize the amount of prayer that has gone into the relationship and eventually this proposal. So did you put like riddles or something on the clues? Or are they just like, they're riddles. Go here. They're riddles. Okay, this is the dairy barn. We spent many early mornings in prayer here before the sun even rose. That's the clue, actually. <laughs> yeah. This Nana is a distraction wall. from the real clue. Nana the wall. wall. Are they almost on Glen? Yeah, they're almost on Glen. Oh, uh, yeah, they'll be chilling. They're right by the circle, K. Okay. They've gotten clue number two at Ross House, and they've made it to clue number three at the Big House. So now, they're about to be on their way to clue number four at the Dairy Barn, which means we're just a little bit ahead of them to get clue number five into our apartment. Six fifteen. So not great. A high photo back here. The the photo will be hidden, so I can give it to her later. Clue number five will be on her bedroom door because she's got to come in here to get changed. It is four fifty eight. So we're making great time. Clue five is set. All right, let's move. You want to get a cute? We 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 carved these together. You want to get a cute shot of those? So in case you missed it, all clues are placed. So we're in the clear now to go back to the house, drop Michael off so he can meet us at the party later, and David's going to meet me at Kiesel Park where the proposal is going to go down. All right, brother. Next time I see you, will be engaged. I love Let's you, man. Let's do it. Love you, man. Let's see. I would say for everything about Isaiah, 
is honestly probably like the growth I've seen. I mean, I was like, you know, first dude I pretty much met in college and seeing where he was then to where like Lord's brought him now, I think that's probably my favorite thing about mm -hmm. Isaiah. Just nice. what I've seen God do to him. Well, one, we've got like, I would say we've gotten really close since this summer. Like I've known him since freshman year. Um, but us being here this summer together, doing classes, I would say we've gotten a lot closer. Um, and I'll say something similar, like seeing him have a, like a lot of growth. Like Isaiah's funny. I would say that's something I really appreciate with him. But also, um, we're able to like relate with a lot of things more than I would say with most people. Um, just like, just like even like with like emotional struggles. Like sometimes like I feel sad, or sometimes I feel like oh, I'm just not feeling today. And it's just crazy because like most of the time we would be on the same wavelength wavelength um brainwave so i would say like he's very like very understanding i feel like he's very understanding and um not judgmental i feel like he's not really judgmental at all so this is a complication uh there is this is the last meet for the cross country teams of the local high schools uh, of the season. And apparently it's called the Tiger Classic. So, uh, you know, you really just gotta roll with the punches sometimes. Um, but lots of encouragement from lots of people here. So we're gonna, we're gonna set up as soon as this is over, which is hopefully within the next 10 to 15 minutes. <sighs> Who knew? That is the last person. That is the person we're waiting on so they can clear all this out. Which, oh, the sun's setting faster than I was expecting it to. I'm hushing the dog on the chain. I'm running up stones on the edge of the bend. softly to myself I sing this softly